remember, I am doing a new thing, but he is doing a new thing. This weekend, starting in August, I am going to be inviting you to come and thrift with me. Yes, thrift with me. We're going to do a $10 challenge. What does that mean? That means you bring $10. I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to post some looks or I'll be handing out some looks. I'm going to do it live here. I understand we're social distancing, so not everyone wants to come out. But you see me. I'm wearing this mask. So it's okay. We'll stay six feet apart, but we'll be close in heart. So come thrift with me this Saturday, August 1st. I'm going to be at the Texas Texas Thrift, that's actually where I'm at now, located on Fondren. And then I'm going to be at the Value Village on Bensonet. I posted it, so go and see where I'm going to be. But the $10 challenge, what do you get out of it for coming to Thrift with me? Well, if you win the challenge, you get your $10 back. So it costs you nothing to come and Thrift with me. As a matter of fact, it increases you. But if you can't, you can live on, you can log on, you can see me live, and anything that you see that I am thrifting. And if you want it, you can tag me, or you can say, get it, I want it, and you can go ahead and purchase it. And you can do the $10 challenge as well. So let's do this, guys. It's August. I'm excited. It's time for something new. I'm going to be posting some pictures of where I'm at right now. I don't know. Let me see if I can flip the camera, guys. Oh, so I am in the Texas Thrift right now, guys. As you can see, look at all this stuff that I have, guys. I have so much. I mean, this is what I'm talking about when I say God is thrifty. And you could be crafty. You could use your imagination. You could be artsy. Look at this. You know I like a little sparkle. And then... So cute, guys. So cute. So I am, again, I'm at the Texas Thrift on Fondren. This is where I'm going to be at Saturday. I am going to do a whole makeshift pop-up right here. These guys know me in here. They're, they're just so used to me. They don't even bother me. <laughs> scars, scars. So I'm going to show you how I do a little pop-up. But I'm also going to put together some outfits to show you what $10 Get, get you here at the Texas Thrift. And right now they have their uh, orange tags 50% off and the white tags 30% off. And that's going to be going on until Monday. And then next weekend for back to school, they're going to be doing 30% off of the entire store along with the color tags. She didn't tell me what color the tags are going to be, but I do know that they're going to have a really, really great sale guys so um god is thrifty take what you have in your hands and make do with it but i'm going to show you what ten dollars does guys remember 10 is god's testing number so i'm going to show you what ten dollars gets you okay maybe let's see maybe i'll kind of let you chill with me for a while while i'm in here i'm going to probably use some props because that's what i do I want to use this. You see that? I want to use that, but I think I'm going to take an ironing board because this ironing board has holes in it. I'm letting you in on my mind, okay? <laughs> scars, scars. So, let's see. Give me a second, guys. This is live, so I haven't rehearsed any of this, and I can't edit any of it. So, if I get kicked out the store, it'll be live. <laughs> <laughs> scars, guys. Okay, so I am going to use this ironing board. Let me flip it around. I'm going to use this ironing board. I'm going to set it up straight like this. I'm going to move those cages out the way. I'm going to use that yellow stool. And let's see. I'm probably going to use this mirror here. Just to, I'm not going to, you know, of course, we can't try on anything in the thrift store, so I won't be trying on anything. Do you guys like my little get up today, y'all? Let me see. Let me go back. Let me go back. Y'all know this is my little, 
cover up that I absolutely love. I wear this so many different ways, y'all. So I threw it on today with my little Victoria's Secret shirt that I thrifted for a dollar. Remember, this cover up cost me $15. So I've worn this <laughs> many times. It is definitely my go to cover up. It's bright, it's vibrant. It makes me feel alive. It definitely helps me to stand out. So I bought it for $15. So this thing is now, as far as value, I think it's probably I've gotten my money's worth out of it. So this is what I'm wearing today as I'm thrifting. I'm doing something really comfortable. That's a tip. Um, let me turn over. That's a tip, ladies, that I want to give you when you're thrifting. You know, you want to kind of be... You know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm thrifting, so I'm just going to go any kind of way. You, you, I mean, you can. It's your thing. Remember, we're not followers. We do what we want to do, but we do it within order, within integrity. And, But, however, when you're thrifting, because the clothes are already used, and in order, and this is just, this is my tip, okay? In order for you not to feel at a disadvantage, I would recommend that you go thrifting dressed up the same way you would into a department store. Get dressed up with your, you know, your makeup on. Make yourself look well, okay? Remember, we are not our environments. We come in environments and change them. We're lioness. We're made mosaics. So, with that in mind, that's a, a dignity thrift tip. You know, when you go thrifting, ladies, don't go looking haggled only because, oh, it's a thrift store. No, go with the same mind frame that you will anywhere, you know, because, again, change your environment. Don't let your environment change you. And that's my thing with thrifting. I don't let, uh, and maybe that's why I'm so comfortable with thrifting, because I don't let my environment change me. I, ain't ch I change my environment, so maybe... That's why I've never looked at thrifting like some a lot of other women look at. You know, they look at thrifting as, oh, you know, I'm better than that, or I'm not wearing no used clothes, or I feel less than if I put on. Well, I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way because for me, um, it's about you know bringing something to life, and you know, God is a restorer. I love restoration. I love my soul restoration. I like healing. So maybe I was born to thrift. <laughs> scars, scars. But anywho, that's a tip, ladies, when you go thrifting. Go looking, looking nice. You know, go looking nice. That way it'll inspire you. And when you pick up something and you're thrifting, you'll be inspired to see the full, uh, uh, how, what, what's the word I want to use? You'll be inspired to, to see the potential, the full potential. Uh, now, I'm not saying you have to go all Sunday best dressed up. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, you know, if nothing else, you know, put your makeup on, put your hair in a cute ponytail, put your cute little loops on, or put you some little cute earrings on. Just do something so that when you do pick out something and you put it up to you, you can see the full potential. Because if you're not looking your best and you're already in a thrift store, you're, you're going to say you can't find anything. And really and truly is you can't find your joy because in a thrift store, you must bring your joy with you. Joy is not included. You have to bring it with you. So I just thought I'd come on here, ladies, for a minute. This is not the come thrift with me live. This is the preparation for it. So I wanted to show you how I take over a thrift store, y'all. <laughs> scars, scars, like for real. You know, and a lot of times when I'm in the thrift store, you know, I'll have women watching me like there's women watching me now, and they want to see what is she up to. And that gives me an opportunity to help women when I'm in the thrift store pick out clothes, and it helps me to give them suggestions. Um, and a lot of the stuff I'm not buying uh, that I have in my basket, I just want to look at, piece together, you know. So a lot of times I'm in the thrift store, and I am a stylist for a lot of the women that I meet. They'll say, oh, you... You know, how are you wearing that or how, what would you put with that? And then I've had women to come up to me in the thrift store and ask of my opinion because they see your uh, class or style of quality of things that you're looking at. So, again, God is thrifty. Not only does he manifest what you have in your hands through thrift, but he connects us in a thrift store. And this, to me, 
in a thrift store is a sea of mosaics and it's a sea of lioness and it's a sea of women and men but of course you know right now my ministry is focused on you know the women um, but it's a sea of women that are not giving up that are overcomers women that are uh, manifesting what they have in their hands and we are going to get to our promises we are on the cuffs of our promises but again when we place what we have in God's hands it becomes the miraculous so this Saturday come thrift with me $10 challenge um, I'm gonna be posting some looks maybe tonight you guys have to excuse me I'm gonna be posting a lot today just so that I can communicate uh, as much as I can for tomorrow. If you can't meet me, you guys know I'm still going to be here thrifting. So I'll probably come on live like I am today and show you some outfits. So gather around your screen. Join me live tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'm going to two locations. I'm going to be at the, um, I think I'm going to start at the Texas Thrift. Yeah, I'm going to start here at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then I'm going to go ahead and go down to the Value Village and I'm going to complete that from 1 to 3. So I'll show you my receipt. I'll show you the things that I'm buying so you'll know, does she really thrift for $10? Like, is she really serious? Yes. Okay. And like I said, the days that I do go over, it's not much over. Okay. But I always, that's another tip. When you go into a thrift store, go in with cash go in with discipline because when you're th when you're a thrifter you could you could be wasteful it could be moments that you buy things that you really don't use so you want to be aware of that mind frame as well so by having a budget by going in with cash by uh, being creative and knowing that you just want to have fun with dress at a at a very smart cost and you want to help the environment so you're doing so much at one time and you're increasing your faith in knowing that in whatever situation or circumstance you're in, you know how to overcome it. So join me tomorrow. I am going to do my very first come thrift with me, guys. My birthday is in August. I'm excited. Uh, I'm doing a new thing. Lair Roar is, is uh, going to be in full effect in August. Mosaic La Maison. Again, I'm saying goodbye to you guys as far as the videos. But I will be posting looks. So if you want to know what I'm up to, all kind of antics I'm getting into, uh, follow me again. I don't like the word follow me because we follow him. But join me at Lair underscore Roar. Or my YouTube channel, which is Lair underscore Roar. You'll be able to get full videos on my YouTube because, of course, you know, like I said, Instagram, you guys' attention span is, yeah, kind of not, not so good. But that's okay. That's okay. That's me. That's on me. So follow my, my YouTube channel, Lair underscore Roar, and my uh, Instagram is at Lair underscore Roar as well. We're going to talk kingdom business. We're going to start talking the business aspect on things and how... Uh, our day is going to start out uh, definitely with some meditational, getting you focused, getting you centered. And then I'll come back in the daytime and we'll talk business, okay? I'm going to be giving you a lot of great references. I'm going to be connecting with people, asking if I can shout them out, maybe do videos. So it's going to go full-fledged in August, okay? So again, guys, I'm at the uh, Texas Thrift on Fondren. And I am going to show you some looks here in a minute. I got all this stuff. Let me flip it back over. All this stuff in this basket. Oh, scars, scars. Okay, ladies, I want to tell my plus size ladies. You ladies know I'm plus size. So, this is everything. And this is not even half of the stuff that I wanted to put in the basket. So, for us saying, oh, I can't find anything, that's not true. I have not gone to retail in over 25, almost 30 years, and I'm always able to dress well. And on a budget. And it's not junk, okay? It's stuff that unless I told you, you would never know. So I'm going to be putting some looks together out of these, and I'm going to be posting them. So you'll be able to see what does $10 do in your hand. But mostly, come thrift with me tomorrow, Saturday, $10 challenge. If you win the challenge, okay, 
I am going to fund you your $10 back so it costs you nothing. How do you win the challenge? You win the challenge, one, by going on to the live, okay? And the ones that are going on live, you won't be able to actually shop. But what I will do is I will have you pick out outfits. And the outfits that you pick out, and we'll have some votes on it maybe. Maybe I'll go around the store asking women which ones would they wear. And if they pick the one that you put together, then you will get the $10. If you are here live and you do your $10 challenge and you win the challenge by going home the next day it'll have to be the next day guys if you're here live with me and you'll have to put it together and then we'll kind of go from there but either way I'm good on the 10 I promise you all right ladies well I see you guys later I have to get back to my oh, pairing thrifting scars scars I am so excited when I'm in the thrift store I'm telling you it is Oh, my kids know I can be in here for hours. So it is my joy. It is my manifestation. It is my, I guess, uh, my secret world. <laughs> scars, scars. But anywho, ladies, I will see you later. And hopefully you'll see this video. You'll be inspired. And most of all, you'll know that God is thrifty. And you take what you have in your hands and you manifest it. But if nothing else, remember, don't run from your roar, run to your roar. I love you. To roar in pieces, ladies. I'll see you later. Have a wonderful day.